Pharma Ventures, experts in deals and alliances. Welcome to Pharma Ventures Insights at the 2017 Innovation Forum Leaders Conference. Today on the show we have Emma Skeets, CEO of CN Bio Innovations. Welcome, Emma. Hi, good to see you. For CN Bio Innovations, you have an organ on a chip technology. What does that do? So our organ on a chip technology is a, a small device that enables us to mimic the structure and function of human organs in the laboratory. And so we are using this technology to really uh, totally change the way that new drugs, cosmetics and other chemicals are, are tested to ensure the safety and effectiveness of these products before they reach consumers and patients. So in a way, you're, you're, you're helping companies to fast track the development of their products by using your technology. That's exactly right. So a lot of testing uh, capabilities have relied upon fairly rudimentary in vitro and cell-based uh, assays and also on the use of animal models. And there are certain failures and limitations of these technologies that we have sought to address with these more complex human-based um, in vitro technologies called organs on chips. Okay, so when companies use this organ on chip, te te chip technology, does that mean they can bypass animal testing or human testing? Is that how that works? So um, we are actually just have entered into a trailblazing collaboration with the US Food and Drug Administration where we're the very first organ on chip vendor to work with the Center for Drug Evaluation uh, to evaluate where certain animal and even clinical tests can be removed from the uh, testing uh, procedures uh, in order that they can be replaced by these uh, in vitro organ chip technologies. So it's a distinct possibility, the regulator certainly thinks so. Mm. And what sort of implications or applications does the technology have? I understand that you're in the sort of cosmetic sector and, and, and a few others. Um, how are they being used? So, uh, obviously in um, cosmetics and consumer goods, there are some different constraints as compared to the pharma and biotech industries. Notably, especially in Europe, where um, animal um, testing regulations have changed significantly over the last decade, and there is a prohibition on the use of certain animal, or animal tests in the development of uh, cosmetics, uh, evaluation of chemicals, and so forth. But there is still a requirement for those companies to demonstrate the safety um, of these products from a consumer point of view. And so these companies are looking to novel technologies to help them answer these questions and ensure that they have good, safe products for consumers to use. And that's where we come in. That's the problem you're trying to solve. So certainly in those sectors, yes. Um, in the pharmaceutical and biotech sectors, um, you know, biotech certainly, we see some really exciting new drug modalities coming out, you know, exquisitely uh, human specific modalities targeting, say, the genome. Um, and if you're looking at editing the human genome, it's very difficult for some of these companies to convince themselves that standing in front of the regulator with animal data, that they're really going to have a good picture of how safe or effective these medicines are going to be when, when given to a, a human being, uh, especially if that genetic sequence that they're seeking to edit isn't conserved. So um, there are you know, really good pockets of opportunity where these technologies really um, you know, are finding a home. Mm. Now, let's take a step back and talk about the technology itself. Mm -hmm. How does an organ, organ on a chip technology ensure that you're actually mimicking the organ yeah. or, or the target? Great question. So, um, you know, we come out of bioengineering labs. Our technology comes from bioeng labs at uh, Oxford, MIT, and Vanderbilt universities. Um, you know, a lot of bio-inspired engineering seeks to recreate some of the uh, architecture uh, that cells find themselves in, uh, in the body, in organs. Um, and by doing that, you're seeking to recreate the um, function, enable these cells to function in the way that they would uh, in, the, in the organism or the organ. Um, so we try to recreate structural um, components. 
we try to recreate uh, components of uh, blood flow or nutrient delivery or oxygen, uh, oxygenation of these tissues using microfluidics. Um, and we also seek to bring together cell types that are appropriate for the type of question we're trying to answer. So if it is an immunological question that we're looking to answer, then clearly we need to have um, cells of the immune system um, present in these devices. So uh, we have a very uh, flexible and adaptable approach that can be tailored to address different biological questions. And is your business model to sell the chips with your machinery and, and to keep selling the chips, or what's your business model? Uh, great question. Uh, so, uh, yeah, absolutely, we have uh, products and, um, and consumables associated with, with those. And there being, uh, you know, FDA has devices installed, uh, various uh, pharma and biotech uh, partners are using these technologies. Um, but, you know, there is still um, an awful lot of interesting technology uh, development that goes beyond the kind of off-the-shelf devices we can offer. And so we have some really interesting uh, partnerships, collaborative uh, relationships in place right now uh, with five um, major pharma, biotech and consumer goods companies where we're tailoring devices to provide a very turnkey solution to a quite bespoke question that they're looking to um, answer. Um, so a, a couple of different sides of our business model, both the devices and also some of the more partnering uh, side of things that we do as well. Speaking of partnering, you seem to be very active in the space, you know, with collaborations and different um, collaborations. And so what's your plan going forward? Um, is it to commercialise the, the technology and have your own people running around at, like a sales team or is it to collaborate predominantly and, and yeah. Um, again, again, great question. So um, some of the collaborations that we have in place um, have as their end objective um, selling the devices and technologies that we've built. Um, and we know that by partnering with pharma and biotech, um, that we are going to be very focused on the end user requirement. We're going to be very clear about exactly the problem that needs to be solved and the technical solution that we need to provide um, in order to make that be as seamless as possible uh, so that we can then you know, provide that same kind of technology solution to, to many more companies in a more sort of turnkey fashion. So a great example is um, we have a newly announced collaboration with AstraZeneca where we're using one of our uh, technologies to optimize the uh, combination of different oncology drugs uh, where we're trying to evaluate um, what is the optimized combination drug dosing that gives maximum efficacy with minimum um, uh, side effect uh, issues. Um, and we're validating that alongside of some animal tests that they have previously done as an organization and also feeding in uh, clinical data. So the great thing about that collaboration uh, we have access to certain information and data um, that, you know, as a, uh, as a, a company uh, that are doing what we do, you know, that would be relatively more difficult to access. So that's one objective. Um, and, you know, other objectives is around developing some of the more um, uh, data aggregation and sort of bioanalytical um, capabilities. And again, there, you know, working with partners really helps us to um, develop a, a real solution for these um, needs. And indeed, it is a very big solution for many different sectors. So thank you very much for your time and all the best with your uh, multidisciplinary innovation, putting together the biology, the chemistry, the, the digital. It's, it sounds like a great platform. Thank you. Thanks. For more information about Pharma Ventures, visit our website.